In this video, we will understand how to perform Comprehend Medical EP with Python. For this, I'll open my credentials console.aws.amazon.com. It's already logged in here. If it is not logging, kindly put your credentials there and get login. First and foremost, I'll click on services and on the services, I'll click on machine learning. You can see here are two modules, Amazon Comprehend and Amazon Comprehend Medical. So Amazon Comprehend is for different purpose, whereas Amazon Comprehend Medical is used machine learning to extract insights and relationships from medical text. Once we will look natural language processing and text analysis using Amazon Comprehend. It's having basic fundamental and use cases and having basic research idea and services over there. But when we talk about Amazon Comprehend Medical Services, it's a dedicated for healthcare department and it's also kind of NLP service that uses machine learning to extract health data in unstructured medical text. Suppose a doctor is writing a patient history. It consists so many parameters, attributes and the ingredient of different uh, patient uh, disease, medicine, medical terms, lab reports, so many other features are there. Those, so what this service is doing, it's just extracting the relevant feature and exporting it into the relevant format. So what I do, I'll launch in a real system. You can see here I'm having real-time analysis and analysis jobs. Once you will click on input text, you can erase or change your text. But as of now, they have given the sample text over here, which consists date, age of the patient, is uh, her, uh, her her job profile medical past medical history any hpi any rash and rest on leg and so on so it's a purely unstructured data what we are going to use we are analyze on the basis of entities rx norms icd10 and noamd but first we are looking at the entities so you can see it's a labeling 86 as a age high school as a teacher and other diseases like status post, cardiac catheterization, April, time, and so on. It's also showing other features also. When I scroll down of the same portal, you can see application integration here. So on the left hand side, we have input paragraph, but on the left hand side, we are having API response that you can see in the JSON format. You can convert this JSON format into Excel or into another uh, format also. You can copy this JSON file and use for another purpose like in your in your app background, in your website, in your web portal, any other purpose module for. You can see here it's extracting type is direction and category is anatomy. Text is inferi inferior and Offset is 411. So what is 411 here? 411 is beginning of beginning index number of the text. And offset is the ending text index number. Here you can see you can count the numbers alphabet in this sentence. Anatomy. Anatomy consists 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. So 411, starting from 411. Ending till 419, we are having 8 or, or 9. Okay. So, what's other for 2? So, this might be for space before the anatomy and the space after the anatomy. All right. So, this is how we are going to calculate the 
category or the text suppose we are having inferior so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it's having eight numbers so one is for the space from the outer world all right similarly you can see text so skin is the text so skin will start from 496 and how many alphabets are there five okay so skin is having four characters but including one space it's becoming five character similarly we can have other modules like what is the type they so having original type and a score what is the score it's a confidence confidence to the to be in of the same type it's a probability it's the it's, it's the uh, score validation score or the uh, you can say uh, accuracy value of this this parameter extracted by the machine learning and deep learning algorithm okay now we are going to convert this file into the python import boto3 is the library which can be improved can import all the other services from amazon so if you want to see like how to import boto3 so you can see boto3 here and it's having company and medical and you can see all the documentation here, here on the left hand side so this comprehend medical client is consisting so many uh, functions there so infer icd 10 is here so you can see this term is already written here icd 10 cm second we are having infer rx norms we can observe rx norm concept is also there here if you want to use more numbers more other functions like for example we have sno med ct concept so sno med ct you can see over here okay so similarly i'm using these functions predefined methods using import boto3 using my client and boto library so first I imported Boto library to run here. Then I am using my credentials. How to use these credentials and these access key? Okay, for this I am going to use like I go to my service and go to search for IAM and you will find manage access to to aws resources so once you click on iam it means you are giving the uh, creating identity and access management and creating more number of users so as of now i am having one user i am going to create one more user here so on the left hand side you will see user here and click on add user and give any name let's say and access select aws credential type access key and password you want to have password over here you just click over there and you you don't have to give the pass the password to your subordinate so you just click access key only so it's a programmatic access and you just click permission and you permissions Click on attach existing policy to insert the policies access and the authority to your Delhi user. So, what we will use, we will click on SNS full access, check this service, then S3, S3 full access, Amazon S3 full access, then next we are looking for. Uh, Medical full access, comprehend medical full access. Then we are importing administrator access. That's it. We are going to use this and check for the text. No, we don't want to have any text as of now. So SNS S3 medical full access administrator access. You want to have more policy there, more access like. Amazon recognition, Amazon 
uh, like bucket so you you can have over there so i'm going to create user and you can see my access key id is given over here i copy here and paste it in front of access key id i'm not going to paste because this is for another client similarly i'll show secret key access i'll copy from here and paste it in front of just beside aw secret key access key i'll copy it here paste it here so i am going to run this code here and then next i'm going to import json because i'm going to export my file in a json format and this is the detect sentiment uh, paragraph or the uh, the code or the medical history or the patient history which i'm going to expect this is entirely unstructured data and second i'm going to put infer rx norm response and this is the json file and json dumps using s3 so what is s3 here as in s3 is the object which i have just created here if you can remember you can change the name of this object the client comprehends model medical make sure you are writing comprehends comprehend only so comprehend medical only not comprehend single so if you are writing alone comprehend which means you are representing the another uh, services that is that is this one amazon comprehend not amazon comprehend medical so this is comprehend medical also means this won't show any error if you will write comprehend uh, alone but you will redirect or you will navigate to another service not the comprehend medical make sure you are writing the correct reason name and access eid access key sometimes we find the error over here why it is not having uh, access the part so that's because of you are, have not given the uh, proper rights or credentials to your user now i am going to run this file json s3 and uh, infer norms and detect text all right so i'm going to run this thing you can see no error is found here this is successfully run now i'm going to run this print and you can see it's just showing my uh, json file and attributes of my patient in a same method which we we are observing in a aws portfolio portal similarly i'll use the second function infer icd 10 cm what it is if you will look at the amazon comprehend medical you will see launch real time you will see the another part is here icd 10 cm concept all right so i'm using the second service i just click the run you can see it's successfully running and just print my json file it's a non json file but if you want to print the json format you can see it okay i am going to comment this and run this file and successfully run it okay you can see it's also exporting in a json format and it's the same text the same matter same uh, 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 ingredient which we have seen on the right hand side this one although input is different you can see on the Type. right now i have used this code to print my json file as an output and my json file will be saved in the local hard disk like you can see this is infer icd 10 cm response this is infer rx norm response so once i click on the infer icd you can see my json file is completely ready to get in to in input get an input into another file so this is the json format for infer icd service and when i click on infer rx norms it's just different for the uh, from the previous service so here you can see the json file is completely ready and if you want to select any particular feature you can do the conventional json method and you can extract you know into different json or excel sheet this is done we have uh, uh, completed two services 
okay if you want to uh, perform more services so what you will do you just go back to your boto 3 dot amazon amazon aws dot com and on the under the import boto 3 you have so many functions just change the name of the function in your python file uh, here here sc dot just change the function name here you will find the another stop text another output in a different context so anyhow you can look into the attributes how many parameters it's a syntax and so on thank you